What's going on resellers, high beasts, and sneakerheads? My name is Duncan Boma, and in this video, I will be teaching you guys how you can cop a pair of shoes which has already released. I'm talking about the Yeezy 500 Utility Black, which will be restocking on Monday, November 30th, Cyber Monday, and they will be retailing for $200. These first released back in 2018, and originally after their release, they were bricks. They weren't selling for too much money at all. However, since then, in the past two years, prices have climbed, and they're now at about three to $400 depending on the size. So it definitely seems like they should be pretty profitable. However, we will go over my resale predictions for what they will be at post drop since this restock should definitely affect those resale prices. Before we do get into those resale predictions though, first we are gonna cover some raffles that you guys should be entering for this shoe. Then we'll get into where to buy them on the actual release date. If that all sounds interesting to you guys, go ahead and drop a like button on this video. Use that thumbs up as a good luck button for this release. Now, before we do get into it, I have one more quick announcement. I have created a new Instagram. I know a lot of you guys followed my old Instagram. I sold that account. I have created a new account where I'll be posting fit pics. I'll be doing some release info on there, and I'll also have giveaways, so make sure you do go follow that Instagram. I will have that link below. First fit pic will be dropping very soon. I also have recently created a TikTok where I'll be posting some release info, some sneakerhead stuff that we can all relate to, so make sure you go ahead and follow that TikTok as well. Go like all the posts. I really appreciate that. If you've been following me for a while, if you've been enjoying my content, go ahead and give both of those a follow. That would mean a lot. Anyways though guys, now that we've got that quick announcement out of the way, we're not going to waste too much time. We're going to jump right into these raffles that you should enter. And the first and most important raffle that you need to enter is on the Adidas app. I'm not talking about the Adidas confirmed app, just the regular old Adidas app. They will be raffling these shoes. There will not be an Adidas release for the shoe. They will only be doing a raffle on their app. So make sure you download that app, create at least one account. And then you should see the raffle page for these right away. It's pretty self-explanatory. Just enter your card info and all that, and you should be good to go. Now, if you do want to get multiple entries into this raffle, what you are going to want to do is create multiple Adidas accounts. Some people will tell you to buy them. That's fine. Personally, though, I think you can probably just make them. You'll most likely just need a different email, different phone number, different payment method. Maybe jig the address a little bit. I think you should be okay there, though. As long as you have that phone number, email address, payment method, if those are all different, the address should be fine. So anyways, guys, just make sure you go ahead and enter that raffle sometime between now and when they release on Monday. Should be pretty healthy stock on there, so it's definitely worth entering that raffle. The other two raffles I recommend entering are also in-app raffles. These are for the End Clothing app and the SNS app. Go ahead and download those apps as well. Create accounts for both of those apps. Same deal as Adidas, pretty straightforward, super easy to enter. There won't be as much stock with those two retailers though. There won't be as much stock with those two retailers as there will be with Adidas. However, in my opinion, it's still worth entering because it is super easy to enter and you never know, you might get lucky. Anyways though guys, those are basically the three raffles I recommend entering, especially that Adidas raffle. If nothing else, make sure you do enter that because stock should be pretty good like I said. Anyways though guys, now we are gonna be talking about where these should be releasing and the first place that these should be releasing is on undefeated at 8 a.m eastern time this is a pretty straightforward shopify site i've talked about it a ton it will be a first come first serve release so make sure you're trying to be as fast as possible when it comes to copying from this site also, I should mention that you do need to have an account, so make sure you're logged into that account on the website prior to the drop. That way you don't have to waste any time logging in after you select the shoes and add them to your cart. But like I said, this site is pretty simple. If you do want more information on this though, I do have a complete guide to copying from Shopify sites. I'll have that link below so you can definitely check that out after this video if you're interested. That is the same manual method that I use. I've caught from Undefeated, Kith, tons of different Shopify sites with that method. So definitely make sure you check that out if you're new to Shopify sites. Anyways though guys, the next site, the main site with most of the stock will be at 9 a.m. Eastern time and this will be Yeezy Supply. If you don't know, Yeezy Supply is a Q release just like Adidas normally would be if they were actually releasing these. And a Q release is basically where you're put in the waiting room and then random users are selected to get through the waiting room from there they can check out now there's a couple different ways you can get multiple people in the waiting room the most popular is definitely the multiple chrome user method however lately for me this hasn't been working too well that's just me though I don't know how it's been working for you guys but what I did on the last easy supply drop for these 700 safflowers which did end up being bricks but anyways, still copped. 
What I did with that drop was I actually had multiple devices. The old belief was that Yeezy Supply tracked your cookies, so you could have as many Chrome users as you wanted. However, for me, like I said, hasn't been working too much lately. I don't know if that's just me, but what I did last drop was I had multiple different devices each on different IP addresses, and the way you do this is by turning them onto cellular data. So I had like one Chrome user on my computer, then another on my phone, which was on data, borrowed a couple family members' phones. That's what I recommend doing. I think if you get about three different devices with different IP addresses, that is the safest. Now, like I said, you can try that multiple Chrome user method. However, it hasn't been too effective for me. So I would recommend trying to have multiple devices each on different IP addresses. I think that's your best bet. Also, I should mention that if you were to get through on multiple of those devices, say you get through on two devices and you're checking out two pairs because, hey, you want to make some money. So you're checking out both those pairs. The address should be fine. You shouldn't have to change the address up too much. However, I would highly recommend having different payment methods on each one. A long time ago, about a year ago, when the 350s restocked. I copped two pairs of those zebras with the same card. Both of them shipped. However, since then, whenever I've tried to cop a pair of shoes from Yeezy Supply with the card that I got both zebras from, that card hasn't worked. It's been banned. I've had to use other cards. So make sure that if you are getting multiples, make sure you're using a different card so that your card doesn't get banned. Anyways, though, guys, that's basically Yeezy Supply. 9 a.m. Eastern time is when they should release, though that's not 100% confirmed. So make sure you're checking the site to stay updated. That's where the most stock will be. So if you ignore all these other sites, at least make sure you go for Yeezy Supply. This is where most of the stock should be besides that Adidas app raffle. So now guys, that was 9 a.m. Eastern time. Now at 10 a.m. Eastern time, you should have two options. The first will be if you have an iPhone. The second will be if you don't have an iPhone. And the first I'm talking about is the Hibbit Sports website. Make sure you're on Safari on their website and make sure you have Apple Pay set up. You have a very efficient checkout process for us manual users. What you're gonna do is be on the product page. There'll be a timer counting down. When it gets to zero, the product will load. All you have to do is select your size and check out with Apple Pay. No adding to car and then entering your information. Super easy and it helps us manual users compete with the bots. This is a great site to go for. However, like I said, you do need to have an iPhone and you do need to have Apple Pay set up. Again though, that is not confirmed. So if they don't drop, you are gonna want to go for this other site. Also, if you don't have an iPhone, this will be the site you're going to go for. And I'm talking about Kith. This is another Shopify site. So you are going to want to use that same method I talked about on Undefeated. It's a first come first serve release. So you're going to want to be as fast as possible. I definitely recommend logging into account beforehand. That will make things faster. You won't have to enter all your information, which should help. If you get to pick between the two, go with Hibbit Sports. However, if they don't release for some reason or you don't have an iPhone, Kith is a good backup plan. All right, guys, so that's basically where these will be releasing and how to cop. Now we're going to cover these resale predictions and talk about whether or not these are worth the cop for reselling. Now, basically, guys, it's going to come down to one thing, stock. I've heard that for the bread 350s, which will also be restocking, stock on those is rumored to be over 500,000, which if you don't know, that's crazy high. That is a ton of stock. Now, if these were to have that much stock, they'll probably be bricks. So hopefully they will be a little more limited. I estimate that bigger sizes will be like 260, 270 after the drop. Bay size is probably more like 300 to 320. So definitely some decent profit if you flip them post drop, especially in base sizes. However, what I would recommend doing with these is holding on to them. I think after a few months, they should climb back up to the prices they are at now. So it's definitely worth holding. Now, if stock is super high, basically that hold will just be longer. It'll just be a longer hold. But eventually though, they are gonna reach the prices they are at now. So in my opinion, these are 100% worth the cop, especially if you're gonna hold these. If you are planning on flipping them after the drop though, stick to base sizes and you should be able to make some easy profit. Anyways, guys, that's about it. Those are my resale predictions. Hope this helped you out a lot, and I definitely hope that you are all able to pick up a pair. I know I'll be trying to get a pair. I'll definitely get some base sizes, see if maybe I can flip them after the drop. If not, I'll hold on to them. Hopefully, stock won't be too big so we can all get a pair, but they'll still be profitable. Anyways, though, guys, that's about it. Just going to wrap this video up real quick. Good luck on this release. Thank you so much for watching this video. Hope it helped you out a lot, and until next time, peace out.